As it relates to yesterday's press conference, we made it clear that we would provide more information about the lessee. Apex Development Inc. is the owner, or rather, uh, the corpus of the lessee. It's the entity that holds the lease to the property you see behind me. As I mentioned yesterday, we assigned an unlawful detainer in September of uh, just a few months ago, and we are heading to court in January. The court date may be pushed to early February, but January, February is the court date. This guy and this organization, however the members of that particular corporation are, have been bad actors. We've been in a litigious posture for some time. They stopped paying their rent. They're out of compliance. And as was stated yesterday, and we can stay with more clarity and conviction today, they have been subleasing this site to at least five, maybe as many as six tenants without authorization from Caltran, without authorization from our federal partners. And I'll remind you that authorization legally is required from both the state and federal partners. There is a review committee that includes the state fire marshal, questions that were asked yesterday as it relates to the oversight of what is stored and what is allowable to be stored. That goes through a review process and determination and the federal partners ultimately sign off. We had our federal partners on site earlier this morning. Administrator Bat was here from the Federal Highway Administration. We thank them for moving quickly. We're doing the preliminary assessment. It has to reach a threshold of about $25 million before we can draw down federal support and federal aid. While that's important, it's not necessary for the preliminary work on the basis of the state of emergency that we advanced and on the basis of the director of Caltrans ability to order through an emergency fund and draw down money that allows for the work you're seeing on site 24 seven, seven days a week, rain or shine, atmospheric river or sprinkles, doesn't matter. We'll continue to move as quickly as it can, safety first and timeliness second. With all the creativity that is required of this moment and the recognition of best practices that we have experienced across this country and of course with our own experience on contracting and own experience and incentivizing the speed and security and safety uh, that is required on the basis of what happened here in Northridge. Our teams, legal teams have been working overtime, including assessing what other leases Apex Development Inc. may be holding. A preliminary analysis determined they have four additional leases in and around the area, five total. We're assessing whether or not they're in compliance of those leases, likely not on the basis of the issues that we've had for years and years on this site that has led to litigation and unlawful detainer and is moving us into court. It's a Calabasas-based company.